Hello, it is Megan the Trainer, Registered Dietitian, coming at you today for another segment of my Nourish to Flourish. And I'm going to kind of pick up where I left off in my last segment where I started talking about nutrients. So I talked about kind of our macronutrients, our micronutrients, and how we need kind of a mix of these in order to really flourish. Again, Nourish to Flourish, right? That sounds about right. So today I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into calories. So calories are the energy currency of our body. So it's kind of like dollars, you know, that we use here in exchange for good, for goods um, and services and how our body is going to use calories to give us energy. All right. So calorie is just a measurement of energy. So how many calories do we need? Well, it's kind of big broad question because there's a lot of different things that are going to come into play when determining what your calorie needs are. How old are you? How tall are you? How much do you weigh? Are you male or female? What is your activity level? Do you have any specific disease states? I'm super confused calories in our nutrition realm, in the wellness center, in weight loss realm, this is something that a lot of people tend to track. We either try to count our calories, we try to cut our calories, calorie this, calorie that, high calorie, low calorie, blah, blah, blah. So it can be kind of confusing to kind of navigate this realm. So the big kind of thing is, is that what does our body need calories for? So we've got what's called our BMR or our basal metabolic rate. So this is just how many calories you need just to simply be alive. So it costs calories to blink your eyeballs, for your heart to beat, for your lungs to exchange gases, for your body to even break down your food. So that's kind of like our bare minimum. So there's actually a lot of calories that we need, again, just to keep the lights on in the house. So on top of that, we have our activities of daily living. You climb out of bed, you walk to the bathroom, you walk to your car, you take the stairs. All of those things are going to cost calories. And then our intentional activity is also going to cost calories too. So coming into a gym, going for a run, going for a walk on your lunch break. Perhaps you're right. We need to make sure that your body is staying fueled appropriately for those. Because it's the analogy that I use with a lot of clients is it's kind of like... Your basal metabolic rate is like your mortgage on your house. It's a big lump sum, but that's what just kind of gives you the basics. That's what gives you the essence of your house. It gives you the structure. Just like our BMR is what gives us our life, essentially. We need that to just be alive. On top of that, our activities of daily living, that's kind of like paying for our utilities, our water, our electricity, our heat, etc. And then on top of that, when we do our intentional activity, that's now like buying a TV, furnishing your house. So you have no business going about looking for a TV when you can't afford to pay your electric bill or when you can't afford to pay your rent. So it's kind of the same thing with our body. So we need to make sure that those bare minimum functions are still being met with the amount of calories that we need coming in. So again, calories, we do need them. We don't need a surplus of calories. We don't need a ton of them. Again, depending on what your lifestyle looks like, you might need more than somebody else. So again, a blanket statement is not going to be appropriate for calorie needs. I understand. If you have any other questions on them, and if you want to dive deeper into what you need, please do not hesitate to ask me. I would love to explain all of this as well. So now that you know better, let's go ahead and do better so we can all be better.